Hello YouTube viewers and welcome back to the Matt Video Productions channel. Today we're going to be exploring a very useful asset for anyone who uses text to image generator models. But as you regular viewers know, I like to open up with an interesting AI generation. And as you can see, this one is a 3D low polygon animal collection, all generated by Dolly 2. The reason I'm showing this is, first of all, it's really cool. I mean, these generations are all really awesome. But uh, I want you guys to pay close attention to how consistent they all are with each other. For example, I think all of these assets look like they could belong in the same type of media together. And by the way guys, let me know uh, which of these low polygon animals is your favorite down in the comments below. Personally guys, I gotta be rooting for that snail man. He's a legend. By the way guys, the prompt for this was pretty simple. Low polygon render of a animal name on a white background isometric 3d ultra hd and honestly folks i'm interested to just give this one a shot a lot of you longtime viewers of the channel are going to expect me to do a lemon but i'm actually going to do a capybara all right there we go i mean it worked out pretty well i think these all look like capybaras except for this one looks kind of like a badger these are all pretty decent pretty clean i don't think any of these are really that bad so uh yeah you guys might want to note here though that it says bought the prompt so no one else has to. This is actually something I want to talk about in this video briefly. Someone brought this website to my attention in my Discord server, which by the way, you can join my Discord server with the link in the description. You can submit prompts to be generated in Dolly 2, share your own AI generations, and generally chat with the community. Anyways, yeah, this website right here, Dolly plus GPT-3 Prompt Marketplace. You can sell prompts here and buy prompts here to be generated in the likes of Dolly 2. Too. For me, this is just absolutely silly because the video you're watching right now is going to make this website almost entirely useless. The source I'm showing you guys today is completely free and has plenty of information on how to create amazing prompts yourself without needing to buy them. Animals wearing suits, $2. I guess this could be useful for people that don't have Dolly 2 access, but one day Dolly 2 will be public. So this is animals wearing suits. Let's see if we can just do the prompt ourselves. Well, there it is, a high quality photograph of a capybara in a suit. Looks about uh, the quality of this. There's maybe a few things I'm missing, like a, a white background or such, but I mean, frankly, I just don't see uh, the reason for needing to purchase prompts. I really don't know guys, I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below on what you think about selling and buying prompts. In my mind at least, gatekeeping a few words that can be combined together to make a nice image just stunts creativity in this platform and I'm just not really a fan of stuff like that. There is a reason I'm making this video that's completely free to watch today and that's to show you how to make great prompts for text to image generators such as Dolly 2. And speaking of free to watch, this video was made possible by our sponsor Wondershare's Repair It. Wondershare's Repair It covers videos, photos, files, and audio. With the link in the description you can try it for free. Repair Repair It has an efficient three-click process. Simply add a file, repair it, preview and save. As a creator, I've had to deal with this more times than I'd like to admit. And this video I made a few days ago actually would not have been possible without the help of Wondershare's Repair It. This is actually the raw MP4 file for that YouTube video. And as you can see, when I try to play it, it's just a black screen. And when I try uploading this video in my video editing software, there's no video and no audio. However, all that changes with Wondershare's Repair It. I simply download the program, install it, and under Video Repair, I click the Add button. Then I simply select the corrupted video. As you can see, it tells me it's missing video. And then I simply press the Repair button down below. And quickly, my video footage is repaired. And now you can see that it is fully viewable. Then I can simply choose where I want to save the video. And as you can see, when I add the newly repaired video, we get the full video and audio stream. Video Repair is a lifesaver for creators, so download and install Repair It for free with the link in the description, and consider purchasing it to save your next project. So today, guys, we're going to be looking at the Dolly Gallery. There's a few different things on this website that are really cool. However, today, we're only going to be looking at the Dolly Prompt Book. This is an incredible resource that is completely free for anyone to look at. I will link it down below. I'm going to be showing you guys some of the highlights of the book, but this is an incredible guide on how to create prompts. It explains how Dolly works with prompts so you can get a better idea and become better at getting what you want out of Dolly. You'll also notice this is version 1.01 which means this thing can get updated as well there's also a nice table of contents here so you can jump to a specific style like if i wanted to cover how to generate photography prompts illustration
illustration prompts, techniques specifically, such as fixing details, replacing subjects, or replacing backgrounds. They also cover techniques with an outside app, such as those infinite zoom out videos that you've seen people do with Dolly 2. But yeah, this book definitely covers quite a lot of stuff. It's 82 pages of useful free information. Let's jump into something simple such as photo prompt structure. We've got a list of questions that you can ask yourself, such as how is the photo composed? What is the emotional vibe of the image? How close are we to the subject and at what angle? How much depth of field is there in the shot? How is the subject lit? Is it bright or dark? Where from? Artificial or natural light? What color? What time of day? Camera or lens? Where is it shot? Is it shot in the studio or is it outside in the world? Is it a digital image or is it an old film image? What year was it taken and what context was the photo actually published or used in. So all of these different contexts will add up in Dolly 2's big AI brain to get you a more accurate result. And we've got some great examples here. And again, guys, it's not that you have to include all of these in your prompt necessarily. It's just the more you add, probably the closer to that image in your brain you're going to get. So they actually go on to explain everything too, the different camera angles, extreme long shot, a long shot, medium shot, close up, the different positions, overhead view versus a low angle, camera settings, slow shutter speed, fast shutter speed, bokeh, macro lens, wide angle lens, fisheye lens, different lighting prompts such as golden hour or midday overcast, different lighting prompts and all of this stuff you could just copy for free and use in your own prompts. The context of the actual image itself, definitely full of great information. I think we should give it a shot ourselves and what I will do here is just go back and forth between Dolly 2 and the prompt book. So far we've got a medium shot digital photo. Let's say that it is nature photography, capturing a never before seen alien, overcast lighting, 2018 alien magazine. So we will see if this gets us a nice generation. Well, this is interesting. If you guys remember a few videos ago, I was discussing how Dolly 2's quality has dropped. Something has changed uh, with the Dolly 2 algorithm and I've been getting generations lately that are just not what I'm asking for. And they're usually just like stock looking images such as this. What you do when this happens is your results don't match my text description. And what we'll do is we'll put some commas in here. The nature photography could be ruining the prompt as well. But I'm just going to put a bunch of commas in there and we'll see if that actually fixes it. I also added the word creature after alien. Something went wrong. Please contact OpenAI support. What is going on with Dolly 2 lately? All right, this is somewhat closer. This could definitely be a never before seen alien nature photograph, I think. I think all the lighting and everything is pretty close too. This is just a bug and this is also just a bug. It could be an alien bug though. And this is sort of like an alien frog type of deal. I think nature photography is ruining our prompt. Let's give it a rerun. This is why everyone was mad that OpenAI uh, started to charge as much as they did for Dolly 2 is because it takes quite a lot now uh, to get the image you're looking for now that we only have four images per generation. Okay, some interesting photos right here. Could be an alien, kind of looks like a robot though. This one could, I guess, be an alien as well, to be honest. He's just standing there menacingly uh that also could be an alien this looks like it's pretty edited though either way though i think we got some pretty interesting generations nevertheless to be fair i also gave it a very difficult prompt a never before seen alien creature versus something more normal like you know a picture of a squirrel but let's go ahead and move on to something else like 3d artworks so with 3d artwork here they aim to give us a bunch of different examples of real actual 3d sculptures bronze statues sand sculptures ice carvings we've got examples of things that can be used on human bodies hairstyles accessories, tattoos, different places and spaces, home designs, parade floats, different arts and crafts, ceramics and glass, and of course, all about the photography that actually captured the image of the 3D artwork. And I think what most of you viewers are actually going to be interested in is the illustration category, which shows off a bunch of different illustration styles, ballpoint pen, pencil sketch, pencil drawing, political cartoon, field journal line art. We've also got some with color here, airbrush, Chinese watercolor, oil painting, which is a classic for Dolly. We've got digital media as well, sticker illustration, layered paper, watercolor and pen. We've also got the instructional category as well, which can always reveal some very interesting generations. And then of course, this is a personal favorite of mine, different 3D assets. I 
isometric 3D, which we actually played with in the beginning of this video, 3D Render, Houdini 3D, Octane 3D, Cinema 4D, Claymation, screenshot from whatever video game you please. Super interesting stuff here. Different illustrations. I've messed with the Pixar one a lot. We've got anime, which I'm sure a lot of you are interested in. Pixel art, which Dolly does fantastically, and I'm sure you guys have heard of before, and the style of, which a lot of you have seen as well, Family Guy, Spirit Away, Bojack Horseman, Powerpuff Girls, and of course you can pick particular illustrators, which they have some fantastic examples of as well. So let's try some isometric 3D lemons. Isometric 3D octane render of a lemon against a light mint green background. Isometric sort of implies low poly, but we'll see if it can get that one down. Okay, so not bad, it didn't get the low poly aspect that you typically get out of isometric 3D renders, but the whole octane render probably put a hole in that. Anyways, these are some very nice generations of lemons, if I do say so myself. I especially like this one, and I like that it's just sort of uh, floating there, although, you know, I don't think any of these are bad at all. Let's add the low polygon in there. Let's see if we do a mint blue background. We'll see what happens. Either way, my whole point is you don't need to buy prompts on some website. All the tools you really need are in that book. And here we go. Here's our low polygon render. I like that it's still like a minty color, but it's just more blue. All of these are absolutely fantastic. This one's really nice. So is this one. Another sweet one. Not a bad lemon in sight, folks. Not a bad lemon in sight. So yeah, folks, in general, I'm just scratching the surface of this Dolly 2 prompt book. Again, you can just go to this table of contents and skip to whatever portion of the book that interests you or that you need help with. And before I end this video, I want to mention really quick that there's other resources on this website as well that are also linked in the description. We've got a whole prompt ideas section that you can scroll through, which gives you some amazing prompt ideas for either photography physical media or art history they've got a list of different alternatives to dolly 2 which i've already covered on this channel well most of these at least some of them are actually upcoming in videos they've got this entire dolly dictionary which is super useful you can go to different camera settings here and look at the different tags that are associated with different images so you can reproduce them with your own prompts. They've got a whole list of text to image generation resources, different Wikipedia articles, film types, prompt engineering at Google Doc, and this is a 33 page prompt engineering document that you have access to for completely free. There's a whole aesthetics guide. So yeah, folks, there's just a ton of different resources here. They're all linked down in the description and all of these different guides in this video will hopefully help you guys increase your prompt game with Dolly 2 and generate some amazing stuff. And if you guys do generate anything really cool, I would love to see it posted under AI image generations in my Discord. But yeah, folks, I hope this video helped you guys out, and I hope the guide was useful for you. I am at Video Productions. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you've been watching and haven't subscribed, and leave a like if the video helped you. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.